Namas. Welcome. My name is Michael Miano. I train the agronomist. And today we are doing one activity called liming. Uh, so the first thing that we are doing here when liming is first position and mapping out the area that you are supposed to, to do the, the liming. So you can see from here, I did my mapping for this farm. This farm is approximately three acres. But I did, I did separate them in, uh, in four problems. Um, then from uh, the reason why we do map is, is mapping is that you can know how many uh, bags or how many tonnage you should uh, use by uh, area. And uh, from what you can see, you can see uh, we are using human labor because we can't use a uh, machine so far because it's a uh, um, uh, it is a flat, it's a flat right. Uh, what you are doing here, we have two types of uh, uh, two types of rhyme. We have, we are using uh, agricultural lime and we are using the, the romantic lime. Agricultural lime uh, contain calcium, a lot of calcium, whereas the romantic lime uh, contain uh, um, magnesium. So what happens if I maybe explain what is um, why we are doing rhyming. The first thing that we did, we did uh, test the soil. After testing the soil, we realized that our soil is very acidic. It means before production of anything that we want uh, to venture in, we have to lime. Liming, there are two purposes of rhyming. The first uh, uh, reason is we do rhyming to reduce acidity in the soil, like in our case. We may, be, we may do another Liming called structural liming, which is to uh, increase the stability of soil aggregate. But that one is uh, mostly applicable in clay soil. So uh, that is the purpose of liming. Then I go ahead and explain the two types of rhymes. And I'm saying actually there are three. We have uh, uh, the agricultural lime or cassiatic lime, rich in cassia. We have uh, Dramatic climb, rich in magnesium, and we have gypsum. Gypsum not necessarily do rhyming, but it provides uh, both calcium and sulfur. And in most cases, like I'm saying, we have three types of uh, uh, lime. Uh, we have agricultural lime, the one called uh, cassiatic lime, rich in cassia, and we have magnesium. Uh, we have uh, the dramatic lime, rich in magnesium. We have another called gypsum. But this one is not necessarily a lime, but it has a high content of cassia. Uh, then it has sulfur. So then we ask ourselves, how comes the soil to become acidic? And we have like five reasons why the soil become acidic. The first reason is, naturally, maybe the parent material of the soil was acidic. That is naturally. Yes. The second reason why the soil can be acidic is because of excessive rain or irrigation water. moved from the top soil down, meaning uh, the cations that are left at the, at the top are the aluminium and hydrogen. Remember, we are saying acidity is usually the measure of hydrogen ion and aluminium ion. That is one reason. The second reason we are saying is nutrification. Nutrification is when we use a lot of fertilizer in every, in every crop, crop cycle produce what we call ammonical nitrate. And when that happens, for example, when you use a lot of DAT for all the time, you are increasing the ammonical nitrate in the soil. By doing so, you are increasing the acidity. The third reason why um, um, the soil can turn acidic is uh, what you call the decay of organic matter. When the organic matter in the soil starts decaying, it produces what we call the hydrogen ion. Hydrogen ion uh, is one of the causes of acidity. The other one is that through the decay of um, the decay of um, the organic matter, we have we have the production of calcium oxide. When calcium oxide combines with water, it produces carbonic acid, which again increases the soil acidity over over the period of time. Uh, those are uh, could be the main reason why the soil turns acidic. Then we ask ourselves, what are the negative effects of acidity? What 
happen if the soil is acidic? Uh, one, there are nutrients that become rocky and they become unavoidable. The major one is the phosphorus and another called morphidum. What happens, they may be in the soil, but because of high acidity, they are rocky within. And therefore, the plant can take uh, up those nutrients. Another thing is toxicity. For example, at a high acidity rate, um, uh, both aluminium and manganese are very high to a toxic level. Toxic level, uh, 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 what we mean is um, when they are there in that quantity, they injure the plant roots and therefore the plant can absorb both the nutrients that you have. Another effect of high acidity, negative effect is it uh, interfere with um, the livelihood of the uh, organ, uh, the microorganism within, within the soil. At a high acidity, most of these organisms and bacteria, they can't survive under that, and therefore um, it will not be able uh, to survive. The advantage of microorganisms is that they are there and they are like the decomposer. They help to compose the organic matter and at the, at the same time increases what we are saying, the soil aeration. So those are the negative effects of uh, uh, the acidity, high acidity level. That is why at the end of the day, you need to do what we are calling the right mix. Thank you very much. I want to give a summary of rhyming. We said uh, the first thing before doing rhyming is do what we call the soil test. Once you do the soil test, it will give you uh, the result, the pH result. So what we did here in this farm, we did the soil test, and our soil acidity was very high, actually 5.23, which is very high. The soil very acidic, and uh, therefore it was recommended we do what we call the rhyming, both the aromatic rhyme and cassiatic rhyme, in the rate of 625 gram per meter square. So I'm putting approximately 350 bags per acre. And uh, 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 we have two types of uh, uh, lime. We have doromatic lime, which is rich in calcium. And on the other side, we have uh, the cassiatic lime, which is rich in, uh, in, in calcium. So we put them in the soil. What, so what happens, they act as a certifier. Not a certifier, but as a base, and they neutralize the acidity. And therefore, we ask ourselves, why is soil why does the soil become acidic? The first thing is parental material. The original parental material can be acidic. Number two, excess rain. Excess rain and continuous irrigation uh, bring what we call leaching. So what happens, uh, the basic uh, cations, the calcium and magnesium are leached. And therefore, on the top soil, we are left with hydroxide, um, uh, with the hydrogen ion, and the aluminium ion, which are responsible for acidity. Uh, then another reason is, uh, the third reason is vitrification, the continuous use of uh, 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 fertilizer uh, bring about acidity, especially uh, the, one, the, 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 the one giving the ammonic or nitrogen. So those are the reasons. What are the negative effects of high acidity? One, what happens, it um, locks uh, some nutrients, for example, phosphorus and moripedium are locked and therefore can't be available to the plant material. Two, they can cause uh, what you call a to to toxicity. The excess of um, aluminium and the excess of manganese uh, uh, happens at a very high, high acidic uh, level and this can cause acidity. Another thing is they don't create a, atmosphere, uh, a good atmosphere for what you call the bacteria or beneficial microorganism and therefore it is necessary uh, to do what we call um, uh, the, the, the rhyming, the rhyming or adding uh, the rhyme. So thank you very much. And the first thing, always remember, do the spirit test. Thank you. Any more questions?